Good morning, everyone. Such a beautiful morning out here this morning. Mm. First sip of coffee. I have already um, swept the porch off. Got some of the leaves off of the porch and uh, spices outside. He's enjoying his time outside. Um, and I just wanted to say good morning. And I want to welcome each and every one of you new viewers to my channel. Um, it's growing every day. I see it every day. And I appreciate each and every one of you who subscribed. Um, please like and share. Sharing helps the algorithm and puts my my videos out there for people to choose whether they want to come and view or not. Okay. Um, I was happy to get the essentials pantry yesterday. That is going to be my pantry haul for the week. I've decided that I'm only going to do one pantry haul a week, and so whatever day, um, I'm feeling good, whether it's on a Wednesday or a Thursday, <clears throat> then I'm going to do it that, that week, and every third week it's going to be the essentials. So no food this week, but that's okay because I have plenty of food, alright? So we'll do a food bank haul next week. <clears throat> It's kind of a gloomy day out here today. We've had cloud coverage for about three days now. And we've been hoping for some rain, but we haven't gotten any rain. Um, I'm so glad that I got all the plants so far into the garden. We're going to do a little bit more work on it on Monday, and uh, he's a volunteer to come and help me again on Monday, and set in. Remember the, um, on the Timu Hall we had that uh, trellis? He's going to help me set that into the garden. So I'm getting all of the things that I got from Timu for the garden put in place. And uh, I'll take you down and show you what it looks like via camera once it's completely done. So you can get a look at, you know, at what I have, what I've done for this year for the garden. And uh, so anyway, it's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with all this. And uh, I'm glad I found someone that would help me out. <clears throat> Um, if you happen to live in my area, hit me up with a comment down below and if you need someone to do um, yard work, um, I'll hit me up in the comments and you're in my area. Um, and um, I will definitely send your information to him, okay? I will connect you in some way if you are looking for someone reliable and dependable to do some yard work. He's, he does beautiful work, as you've seen. Anyway, we're going to get to some shenanigans in my house, okay? So, you guys stay tuned. Alright everyone, I am turning on my camera, getting you guys in here to show you what I'm doing. I am getting my lunch and dinner ready, prepared for today. And I have some of this beef pot roast that I made um, months ago. And I ate off of it and then the leftover went into my already cooked protein section in my freezer. That's already chopped up so I'm going to leave that in there for a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to go through and just give it a slice. 
this way to to cut through the um, the meat fibers a little bit. I have on the stove an iron skillet that is uh, heating up and getting ready for this to go in to it. And yeah. So we're going to get this chop, chopped up like that. <clears throat> All right. And I'm going to make kind of a quesada, okay, which is, it's basically taking meat like this and putting it in preparing it for um, for tacos okay it's basically what I'm doing and so I have the skillet heating up I need to oh I need to put some form of a grease in there so I am working on using up this lard that I have in the refrigerator so I'm going to use that for this and it's a big brick of lard and so I'm going to cut off a piece of this lard just a little piece like this and drop it into the skillet and instead of using like a whale or a butter, I'm going to use this lard. My mom cooked with lard a lot when I was a kid because, or tallow, okay, because uh, we processed our own cows and stuff. So tallow was something that we had a lot of. And you can hear it. You can hear it back there. in. These are already diced up onions that I keep prepared for just an occasion like this. And we're going to take a handful of these already diced up onions and drop them into the skillet. in there. I have a big bag of frozen peppers here and I'm going to throw me some peppers in here. It's just a mixture of peppers that I had from last year and I'm going to get these used up. It's a variety of mild peppers that I grew last year and diced up and threw in a bag and threw in my freezer. over and show you what I'm doing okay so you can see it all right so on the stove 
you see two burners. One of them has pork and beans in it because I had a can of pork and beans that I needed to get used up. And so we're gonna we're gonna heat them up. And they had a it had a dent in it. it. Came from the food bank and it had a dent in it. Could not be sold in the grocery store because of the dent, but it's perfectly fine. So I am gonna use that up. We've got these peppers and onions sauteing in here. And while this is sauteing, I'm going to throw this beef in. I just chopped up. Because I sliced it against the grain of the meat, now when I just hit it with the when I hit it with the spoon, it breaks up really nice and easily in the pan. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna saute this in. Get this heated up. Ready? Oh, let me empty out this bag. Get all that meat in there. Okay. This was from that roast that I made at the beginning of the month. That's what this was from. Okay. All right, now, now that it has cooled down a little bit and I can pay attention to it, I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. rice cooking in my rice cooker as well and I'm gonna get my iron I have several um, ways to heat up tortillas let me get these let me get this out of the way right now I need this out of the way right now this is for my next project, okay? <laughs> That's coming up, all right? I'll just put it in the oven for storage for right now until I get this going. Okay, we're gonna put this on a low heat but let this heat up. this up so you can see my entire stove as I'm working I'm working on three out of the four burners today so I am going to put a handle on this and flip this around this direction so I remember I look I grab handles okay and so, y'all see that? That's a burn on my finger. salsa. Oh, 
while back. It's, it smells good. So I'm gonna put all of my salsa in here that I had left in the refrigerator. So this is gonna have some heat to it. It's made with jalapenos. I don't mind a little heat. I don't mind a lot of heat in my food these days. There was a time when I didn't want any heat, but these days I'm enjoying the heat, so. And we're gonna let this heat through. My beans going back here. Heating up. You just have to heat these up. Now, you know, you could make like a side of baked beans, you know, in a pan and with the onions and the, speaking of onions, let me get some onions out. I do want some onions in those beans. With onions and um, barbecue sauce and you know, brown sugar and all that. You could do that, all right? But I'm working on lowering my sugar intake and that will not be conducive to that. So I'm gonna add a handful of onions in there. And I am going to add a handful of these peppers in there as well to add some flavor to those beans without increasing my sugar intake. Does that make sense? I have a chunk of pepper right there. These are keto-friendly carb-balanced tortillas that I am going to make myself, and we're going to use two of them okay, for today. I'll make two tacos. For lunch today. Turn that off. Residual heat will finish heating that up. While that's doing that, 
I am going to end the behind thing. Get all these dishes in the dishwasher. Get them ready to be washed. dried really well. Behind you, I am getting Play-Doh. And get these tortillas off of this. Because they're already heated up. Until the juice is done but the beans are done I like a little juice on the beans okay but this I'm gonna cook down I'll bring you guys back when I have it all plated up all right everyone I'm sitting down for my lunch and this is what it looks like plated up so I'm gonna have two low-carb tacos uh, I'm going to have a little cup of rice and about a cup of beans with onions and peppers in it. And this is going to be my lunch today and possibly my dinner tonight. We'll see. I might do something else with it, okay? We'll see. But I can already tell you that this looks delicious, okay? All right, everyone, I'm bringing you in to show you, first of all, that the kitchen is cleaned up, okay? Even the skillet back there where I cooked is clean okay I have put rice beans and meat in three containers so I have enough for three more meals for myself and then on top of it if you look over here I have some beans in that one and rice in that one so if I just want beans and rice I can heat those two containers up and have beans and rice these are all gonna either go in my refrigerator or my freezer for my future self to thank me now <laughs> <coughs> for all this prep work. I had to stop filming and sneeze, okay? <laughs> so, this meal, this is the roast that I got from the food bank. And I got probably three meals out of it before uh, three meals out of it before and now I've gotten four meals out of it here so that's seven meals that I have gotten out of that one roast that's pretty awesome and the rice came from the food bank the beans came from the food bank and I cooked the rice in bone broth from the chicken, the rotisserie chicken that I got from the food bank. So there you go. That is how I stretch out everything I can and that I get from the food bank into as many meals as I can. Okay everyone, I'm gonna bring you in and show you what I made for my dinner tonight. I did get some energy and so I went into my pantry 
and I got these from a previous food bank. This is red lentil jambalaya, all natural, and it's packed full of dehydrated vegetables. And so I took a can of chicken thigh uh, meat that I had on the shelf from the food bank and added it in, added four and a half cups of water, brought it to a boil, and I just followed the directions on the package. And this is what it has made. So it is packed full of proteins, of vegetables, and it's a one pot uh, meal. And it's gonna make enough for me tonight, and then probably two or three uh, meals that I can pack up and use at a later later time and so there we go I got me a bowl one bowl cool. and I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna sh show you guys but I want y'all to know I'm, I'm in the middle of watching Becky at Acre Homestead make her pies She's doing a live tonight, and I'm in the middle of watching it. But I wanted to get this in here and get you guys in here and let you guys see this, okay? All right, here we go. So we're going to try this jambalaya. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Mmm. You know what? Some of the lentils are not done. So I'm going to add a little uh, chicken broth to it. I'm going to let it go ahead and continue cooking. 